Right, welcome to the video and this week we're going to talk about this guy. Now this is Mike. Mike is a three-legged thing tripod. It is Winston height. I will put all the details on screen. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I am a landscape photographer, not a reviewer by nature. So uh, please bear with me. This is my first real proper review video. Um, three legged thing have been kind enough to lend me Mike. Uh, it is a part of the Let their legends range. Uh, they do, um, I think they do two or three different sizes, but Mike is the largest size. And the reason I wanted to get my hands on, on Mike was the level base. It has a so no center column, so I can get down nice and low. Um, and because I've got the height for Winston, I can still get up to that height. And to answer you, overused after using this for probably around about four or five weeks, um, I haven't needed the, the, the center column at all. Um, so I knew that I could probably get away without a center column, hence the reason why I wanted Mike. Now, the main reason why a level base would be an advantage to a landscape photographer is the fact that you can undo this little latch here this one here and then you have the ability to put your ball head wherever you want now that this means that when you dap your tripod down you, what I do with Winston um, is I loosen the legs and I have to retract or extend the leg and try and get the bubble level that's on top level. Um, as you can see this does have a bubble level which makes leveling that level head very easy. Uh, the build quality is just second to none. Um, three legged thing make Fantastic tripods. I've been using three legged thing for years. It's my first proper tripod. Winston was my first one. Um, and I just love their stuff. It has a new ball head. It's the Airhead Pro. Now, this is the twist lock. It's got the little, uh, like a tr traditional twist knob, which I prefer. Um, since owning the Sony A7R Mark IV, it's a lot of money. Um, I would be suicidal if I broke it. And I think that just sways me in towards one of these. Uh, Three-legged thing do make the same ball head with a lever clamp. Um, actually, it's what I give away on my three-legged thing giveaway. Uh, the little ball head that Adrian gave me to give away on my channel, and um, Damien was the lucky winner. He had a three-legged. He had the Airhead Pro, but with the the lever lock. Um, I did use that for a few weeks before I gave it to, uh, to Damien um, or before I did the competition and I do, I do prefer the twist lock. Uh, each leg is detachable so you can pull every single leg off. My original Winston you could only take off one leg and use as a monopod. Now you can take every single leg section off if you want and you can buy little, le little stubby stilettos um, off their website and you can, it turns it into a little tabletop tripod which is handy uh, for doing product photography, doing in studio vlogs. Uh, I could think of several different things, there's several different situations where that might come in handy or if you're a wildlife photographer you shoot sports. Um, you have basically got a six foot long monopod. Um, stab this uh, cracking little ball head on it and you've got a really good setup. Uh, there is another little a li another little minor change compared to Winston version 1 and version 2 actually is this new lever lock. So you can see here there's a lever. So 
let me just extend it. That's Winston, uh, that, <laughs> that's Mike fully out. And every time you go over a, rack, over a section, it has three, three um, positions. Back out to the standard position. So basically, you can't, you can't uh, pull, you don't pull the lever out, and the leg swings like that. Um, it is a ratchet system, like you've just seen, which means it's just a little fail safe, I suppose. Uh, it's quite nice; it works very well. Can't really fault it. Um, I think it just me personally doesn't make too much difference to me in terms of a landscape situation but uh, if you was a wildlife photographer, sports photographer you want to dap it down, you want to just get your legs out quick or you want to change position um, and, you, and you, you might forget to push the little tab in like you have on Winston and you might end up having a leg swinging out maybe um, but yeah so I think it's I think the reason they've done this is just to I don't know this, this is my opinion is to uh, differentiate uh, to, make it a separate uh, system as opposed to their pro range like Winston uh, and uh, Albert. Uh, this is a completely different range, the Legends range, and I think that's why they've gone for all these lever locks, uh, just, to make, just to make it different, um, offer, you, offer something else to the, to the client. Uh, it has a little hook on the bottom. Uh, the usual thing, so you can hang a bag on it if you want to weigh the tripod down. Uh, yeah, it's there's so many different there's so many different little tweaks they've done. These are different as well. The uh, the twist locks. They haven't got these little rubber things all the way around now, as you can see here. They've missed they missed the other one out. Um, they do feel nice. They're very smooth. They're only literally like a little quarter turn, and the legs are out. They're very smooth, very well made. And I just, I'll tell you what also they have done is um, they haven't got these, they haven't got the rings on either. I thought to say about that, to loosen off. Like on Winston they have like a little like a little ring which you undo to take these off. I think these ones all you have to do is you just keep on tightening them. You can see the thread there. And that will just come off and you take you can take the legs apart and do your regular maintenance like you would do on, on any other three-legged thing, tripod. The feet, now I have the original uh, stilettos on, but you could put in their new tripod feet, they have new spikes. Um, it's the same thread, they do a quarter and a half, and they do come with the little insert, like a little grommet insert, uh, if you can see that. So that goes in the end of that goes in the end of there. Bit of focus, and then you can fit a multitude of different accessories, different rubber feet. Uh, they now do a spiked foot with a rubber end on them. Um, so, like me, I take these stilettos with me, and if I find myself ever needing to shoot inside, I have to take I take the feet off and I put some rubber feet rubber feet, put some rubber feet back on. Uh, but with this new system, I said the stilettos with a the, with the rubber boot on, I think they just come off. So you can basically leave these in the whole time. And I, and I know, <laughs> I know every, every little inch helps, but my one slight criticism that this could be a tiny bit higher. Um, not because I want to shoot way over my head, but if you're on uneven ground, and you want to drop one of these legs a little bit longer than the other two, or two longer than the, the other one, um, you are going to sacrifice some height because although this goes up to six foot, I will put the I will put the heights up here, so you can see it comes up to my height anyway. Uh, if you was on un uneven ground, you would have to drop the back of the tripod down uh, to level that thick, that level that sucker up. Which, to be fair, you might better get away with a little bit of leniency with the um, with with a leveling base that might help me out a little bit longer. But yeah, I've used this tripod for, like I said, four or five weeks now, and um, it's just it's just quality. It's not too heavy. Um, it's well made. 
There's plenty of accessories to go with your needs. Um, and it's just, they're, just, they're a British company, they're made in the UK, which is a big, a big head turner for me because uh, this, we make so much, so many things outside the country now. It's, uh, it's nice to, it's nice to use a, use a company that, that is technically still British um, and producing British products. And let's be honest, it looks the absolute nuts. Uh, it's, a, it's a stunning piece of engineering and a quality bit of kit. But there are negatives. Um, at the top of my head, the main negative is only the height issue. I wish they made this a little bit taller, um, even by adding another leg section in maybe, um, because you are getting around 600 mil uh, with it fully, fully closed up. Um, which isn't a problem. It sits, slides on the back of my, on the side of my Low Pro Whistler 450, no trouble. Uh, but it would have been nice to have an extra bit of height, just for them uneven grounds. So if you're shooting at the beach and you want to shoot at eye level, but you want, but you're on top of boulders and you need to drop a leg down, uh, that would have helped. But who knows what they might do in the future. Uh, so yeah, I've taken, I've, I've taken lots of images with this. Uh, it has to go back. It's only a loner. Um, but thank you so much for Three Legged Thing for lending me, Mike. Um, as soon as it got announced, I wanted to let, uh, get my hands on it. And it's just nice to use a quality bit of kit. Uh, even so, to the point where I have got myself another Winston. But I have got the Winston 2.0, so now, which you all sat on. So now I have a version 1 and version 2, um, and which is going to sturdy up my vlogging tripod as well. So. I'm completely free-legged thinged out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wish I didn't have to give this back. Um, <laughs> uh, it would be nice for to keep if I could keep it because I have used this leveling base quite a lot. Um, yeah, it's just a cracking bit of kit. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do apologise if you was uh, looking forward to another woodland video, but I just had to. I had to mention this uh, this mic. Um, for my own, my own, uh, get my own point across, and they weren't. They, three legged thing didn't put any pressure on me to make this review. Um, I asked if I could have one on loan, and they said yes. And, and I said I'm going to make a video about it because it is that good. Um, there was no pressure from them whatsoever. I just get that straight, and I'm not being paid by three legged thing. Like I've just said, I own two three legged things, um, paid for by myself. And uh, yeah. It's just, uh, it's just a nice bit of kit. So if you are interested in Mike or any of the three-legged thing gear, head over to their website. Uh, the link will be down below. And uh, grab, yourself, uh, grab yourself a new nice shiny bit of kit to put your camera on. So that's all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, little chat. <laughs> Not sure you could call it a review. Um, my opinion on the new Legends range mic it is a cracking bit of kit. Well, I'm going to show you some images I've taken using this little bad boy, and uh, I will see you next week. Uh, I'll be back to a normal scheduled video. Ciao.